sports fans, a big night of basketball last night out in Fruta hosting the highly ranked Delta Panthers. Let's get you out to Wildcat Country right now and let's start it off with in the second half. Uh, we're going to show you a little three ball here from Ava Johnson. A lot of passing leading to shots like that. We'll show you more of that later. Uh, but here's what was working really well for Delta. Nice play inside for Erica Kuda. More of that to come too. This is a wild play. The ball bouncing all over the place here. A couple of putbacks. They're not going to fall. The loose ball does fall to Kylie Wells. She has her shot blocked, but this time Lauren Lee is right there and gets it to go. A little stick to it in this right there, but the Panthers, they weren't just working it inside. They were a complete team as we see Amos drain one from the range. Uh, watch how quick the Panthers set this play up. The rebound, uh, Kuda kicks it ahead to Kylan Porter. She's happy to kick it right back, and Kuda is obliged to shoot from the arc. Puts the Panthers on top, 31-24 after a Delta timeout. Uh, they get right back to a Porter knife in the baseline, getting a two for her efforts. Here comes Jillian Buck showing off what she can do from the elbow. Later, a nice cross-court pass is going to set up Molly Yunker uh, from outside. The line gets her three ball to go. More Buck again from right around that free throw line. Has her mid-range game going, and she has the hot hand here. Feels the contact. Gets the shot to fall, plus the foul. The basket tied it. The freebie puts the Cats up by one. Delta goes back to the bread and butter. Kuda inside. You can count that all day long. More of her to come. Also, more of Yunker sticking with her shot. Bearing another three Three ball momentum starting to shift fruit his way as Trinity Hafey finds Emily Hoffman inside for a sweet finger roll. Delta called a timeout here. Not only was it needed, it was effective on the side out. A little give and go action for a three. That's Marcy Shaw with the shot to pull the Panthers within one. But the Cats are still fighting. Ball fake fools the cameraman. Instead goes to Johnson. Not exactly wide open, but drills the three all the same. Delta goes back inside the short shot. Excuse me, shot after the back down. It's not going to fall. The Porter positions herself per perfectly. Gets the put back. Wildcats still with a one point lead, but not for long as Delta goes right back to Kuda. Just putting on the post moves perfectly down there. Panthers retake the lead with two and a half to play. Fruto was playing tight on defense and comes so close to getting a pick, but opens up the layup instead. Let's get to that last kind of possession for Fruta. Uh, short on time. Buck had her been money from there, but gets blocked. And then, uh, yeah, because uh, Fruta had played so well defensively not getting fouls. They had a long way to go before they could get into the bonus. Uh, eventually, the Panthers win it 45 to 42. Let's get over to the boys game. Fruta attacking the basket hard early on. The layup won't go for Skylar Johnson, but Cole Savage says, I got your back. Gets the Cats on the board first later off the inbound. Johnson thinks about letting it go from range, or so his defender thought. Instead, he'll take it from the free throw line. And folks, the bank is open for Fruta. Grayson Skeen, he's going to show off what he can do from the elbow. Count that. Fruta building a cushion already and expanding right here. Carson Collinshead comes away with a tip. Little per picture perfect off of two, in with one. Fruta up 8-1, but that was before this play. Delta gets Fruta defenders all over the place, and then, yeah, just going to can that shot from three uh, for the Panthers' first field goal of the game, but then Johnson just going to drive here, hits the nasty step back. Uh, foot was on the line, but you can count the long two-ball possession later on the inbound. The Wildcats get back to work. Johnson, here he is, splits the defenders, gets another defender up, and then Joel Lively, he's open on the baseline. He's going to get the layup. He's going to draw the foul, and he's going to negate that three awfully quick. But watch Sprout here showing off his lefty skills. But then, oh, out of nowhere, Savage comes away with the block. Sprout says, I'm still going to drive this lane, going right back to it. Uh, gets the defender's pedal and gets inside. This time, getting the lane to go despite the contact. But the Wildcats would just be too much. Jace Jessup right here with the nice and one play. Nice concentration. We'll see the replay. Uh, Fruta would take the win 54-39. to 39. Well